What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for clicking and wanting to watch this video. I'm super excited because the last DIY body armor video, complete fail, right? Just didn't work. For this video, I went to the dollar store to see if we can make some dollar store armor. I used a little bit more science in this video because there is a very specific science behind body armor and what makes good body armor. The materials that I got for this video are two cookie sheets, some little bags of rocks that I found. Um, um, obviously some duct tape, but also some notepads and stuff like that. So here's my science behind this behind this body armor. When it comes to body armor, you want something very hard up front. Something that when the bullet hits, it starts breaking apart, mushrooms out, breaks into a million pieces, and then the soft stuff behind that is what will catch the bullet and stop it from, you know, hitting your body. So what I did is I took one of the cookie sheets, dumped a bag of rocks in it, and then I taped those rocks down. I wish that I would have had something a little bit more permanent and like actually held those rocks in place. And then I did that exact same thing to the second um, cookie sheet, put some rocks in there, taped it down, and then I put those cookie sheets on top of each other. So it's a cookie sheet, rock, cookie sheet, rock for the hard part, right? That is the part that I want to try and break that bullet apart. Behind it, I have my notebook. It's 120 sheets of notebook paper. It's not like printing paper, so it's a little bit more thin, but that is what I want to catch my bullet once it's all broken apart, hopefully. And if I need more paper, well, I brought another another notebook just in case, but I want to see if it can do it with ones. In my mind, this works, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work, but I hope it does. But again, just a disclaimer, do not take any of this video seriously or as like science. This is just for fun, strictly for entertainment purposes. You know, if it does end up stopping bullets, obviously do not go out and buy this stuff and use it as body armor. Let's get to shooting and see if this homemade body armor works. Oh man, I'm very, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Just want it to work. That would be awesome. Going to be using the 115 grain full metal jacket, nine millimeter, advertised at a velocity of about 1200 feet per second. And it's a full metal jacket, not a hollow point, so it should be fairly good at penetrating, which makes me a little bit more nervous, right? But here we go. Yee! I'm nervous, here we go, let's check it out. I don't wanna look at it yet. I don't want to look at it. I want to see it with you guys. So here we go. Right on the bottom there was our entrance wound. Have not looked at the back yet. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, yeah. There's nothing on the back there. Not even a little bulge. That is what I wanted. So it stops the nine millimeter. Um, what I'm worried about though is like, because those rocks weren't very in place because they were just kind of taped there is that kind of more of the rocks have shifted towards the bottom. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like they're still pretty much in place for the most part. I'll take probably three or four more shots with the nine millimeter. And if it can stop all those, we're gonna see if this baby is rifle rated. AR-15 is what we're gonna try, but let's take a couple more shots with this. Honestly, I was a little bit nervous about that. I thought that we were for sure gonna need two of the notebooks, but with just one of those notebooks, it stopped our bullet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take three more shots. I'm gonna load it full metal jacket and then a hollow point nine millimeter and then another full metal jacket. If you're wearing body armor, you want it to be able to last more than one shot. You want it to be able to withstand a bunch. So we'll take a couple more shots at it. That was three more shots and we are clear. I'll do the same thing. I don't want to look at it yet. Here. Ooh. I don't know about this, honestly. I'm kind of a little bit nervous, like I said, because of the rocks. I haven't looked at it, ready? Ah, oh no. We are definitely penetrating all the way through there. So I think um, we weakened it. As you can see, I kind of shot them all within the same area, which when you shoot it in that area, it kind of um, compromises the area around it. Yeah. So not good at all. But if we get down here and look, the piece of wood that was behind the body armor, the body armor slowed the bullets down enough that 
the bullets were actually caught in the piece of wood. I mean, it definitely would have hurt, but I think that they were slowing the bullets down quite a bit. What I'm gonna do is I do wanna shoot this with the rifle. What I'm gonna do though is I'm going to tape the other notebook to the back of this for the AR-15, the 223. So let's grab the other notebook and throw it on here, and then I'm gonna shoot this side of the body armor, not this side with the holes, the side that has not been shot and isn't as compromised as the other one. Okay, is out. Our DIY Dollar Tree Dollar Store body armor rifle rated. Probably not, but we're gonna find out. Here we go 223 full metal jacket, 55 grain bullet, moving at about 3,200 feet per second. 3,180, I believe, is what it's advertised for. Very, very fast. I shot very low because I think there's. There's more rocks down though, but let's go check it out, make sure. Like I said, I shot very low so that we would hit as many rocks as possible. Oh yeah, not even, not even close. Went straight through everything, straight through the cookie sheets, the rocks, and both, both notebooks. I am on a quest to make some body armor that is rifle rated. I think it would be awesome. So, thank you for joining in this fun, quick little video. I'm having fun making these homemade body armor videos. Um, I honestly want to try and just do it from every single store. Thank you so much for watching guys, it means a ton. Seriously, thank you so much. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it so that others can see it, and I will see you guys next time.